Is it though? All right. Hello. Welcome to session nine. Justin will either be late or will be joining us later. So for the duration, I will be running his character for him. Yeah. So, if you all remember, last we left off, you all have collected the Diamonds of Midnight. And are standing inside an old temple to Celestia. Unsure of what, what horrors await you outside. Wait, hmm. are we missing anybody? I think we have everybody, don't we? Except for Justin. And then Emma's on her phone, so she's not in the roll d20. Yeah, that's fine. Right now, this is just like going to be roleplay for now. And if she needs me to roll, I can roll for her. Nice. I uh, wait. Is Brooke joining us? Probably yeah, not. We'll roll without her. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you all do? Uh. We just. Got these, and we're still stuck inside this room, right? Yes, you're yeah. still stuck inside the room. I'm gonna investigate the room. Did we get all seven of yes, them? Or the last one was in the coin. Okay. Um. I guess. Uh, map? Run real quick out. <laughs> oh. Um. Also. We're probably gonna need a sample of your blood, dear cleric. Me cleric or other cleric? You cleric. Why? Yeah, to get out of the barrier. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot <laughs> about that. So, what is up with this barrier that you are mentioning? Um, well, you see, we're underground, and the reason why these devourers have not come out to the above ground is because there's a magical seal on this entire city. So how did you get in? There's we a dagger. Gave He's... blood to a bull. To a chalice, right? It was a bull. Bull? Okay, it was a bull. For some oh, reason, oh, your bees put... are sounding like V's, and so it sounds like you're saying we gave blood to a bull, like those little <laughs> like rat looking things. Hey, I'm a rat looking thing. That's mean. But you're cute. So you put blood in a bowl and got in with absolutely no idea how to get out, or do you know how to get out? You know, we never tried to walk back out. Yeah, we didn't try. We didn't think to. Mm. Let's just assume we can. All right. Yeah. We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, do so we... Are you all going to fling the doors open? Or what are you all doing? Uh, can I, can we things. listen for things behind the door? They're still there. There are things like skittering. That doesn't sound great. That does not. There's no other exit to this room, right? Nope. Can How tall are the doors? Crack the door open very slightly. No, no, no. How no, tall are the crack. doors? The doors are about 30 feet tall. 30 feet tall? This is hey, a guys. Temple. Hey, guys. Um, who can't climb? What do you, uh, I have really good athletics and acrobatics. It's yeah, and you have slow maybe. fall. I, well, I can I'll attach rope to you climbing. and help you because my, my athletic score is high enough that I could probably drag someone as I climb. <laughs> Atali well, so good, Atali. So good, Atali. Atali, like, gestures to the, like, she ties an arrow to, like, her rope and she gestures with this. And goes, I can do that. So, we could climb the doors, like, climb the doorway, open the doorway from the top. And then make a, as, make, like, a zip line towards the next building? I mean... And then start roof hopping? The you remember that. They were like as you guys got closer to this temple, they were like they surrounded these buildings. They were filled with a like these buildings have been overgrown with this like by this is this grayish like flesh threads that you all have been like been uh, used to. I've gotten used to in this temple. All right, well then we could probably what do you call it? Zipline to the next tallest building 
I don't know. And then run like crazy. How far was the uh, barrier from where we were? Uh, quite a ways. Yeah. I mean, we also have the... Like, we could literally just run down Main Street if uh, once we Main get... Street. Yeah, like, if we really were concerned about, what do you call it? About, like, the straightest line, we could just make our way towards there. Because we're closer to the center of the city, so we should also be closer to Main Street. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, I'm, I'm having trouble getting a mental image of this. Uh, you have to give me a minute if you want to find it. Um... Could we potentially get one person to sneak out and then make a diversion and then sprint away? What happens to that one person? Fuck them. Ah, yes, okay. yes, I, I can distract. No, Bill, we like you too much. I can distract. I. I can distract. Um, I so, uh, let's see what he can do. Okay, David, this is going to be a long request. Yeah, go for it. So, how many limbs do the uh, smaller uh, ones have? I... One, why? So, they're basically, like, snake-like? Yes. Hmm. So, uh, villain, like, goes up to a rogue and pulls on his robe. And, uh, what what was this about? And and then he points at himself, and then points at one of the smaller ones, and then he points at his tail, and then he casts. Uh, he uses the mask of disguise to make him look like one of. I, what were they called again? Slivers. One That's of the sli one of the slivers. Do we do we know in character that they're called slivers? I mean. They re they don't really have a name in the game. We're just calling them slivers because yeah, just, just okay. we'll do, we can just call them slivers. They're they're, they're 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 generically in this in this universe called the plague, but we're calling them slivers because oh. I based them off of slivers than you sliver art. I'm sense. calling them devourers because that makes more sense. Eh, works too. I'm fine with that. But so he 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 tries to tra uh, disguise himself as one. And then he uses his tail to be able to simulate uh, their, like, slithering on the floor. Roll me... Roll and add your charisma. Actually, roll me performance. Roll me performance. Yeah, yeah that would just be performance. Yeah, this is just straight up performance. It looks kind of realistic. Roll me an intelligence yeah. check. All of you can roll me an intelligence check, actually. All right, can uh, you roll for me, David? Because I can't. Yes, I will roll for you, Emma. And because Justin Thank has you. the habit of not rolling, I'm just not going to roll for him. Because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes he's like, eh, Atali wouldn't do this. So Atali's just not going to do that. Now, about yeah, how makes... heavy would one of these things seem compared to Vil? Mm, the smaller ones? Quite lighter. Uh, Sorry, Hiroki, you rolled in at one. That's all right. Wait, I need to roll because... <laughs> oh, well, it's too late. <laughs> I like how you rolled a nat 1, then a nat yeah, 20. Yeah, you rolled a nat 1. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, so, Adnipe and El El Eliana. Eliana? Eliana? What is it again? Elania. Elania. Yeah. Uh, you both know that these things are a hive mind. Okay. 
So disguising Thank yourself as one of them is nominally less effective against something who is a, a hive mind? Mm. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to be able to disguise ourselves, Villain. Uh, unless you're one of them, they'll, they'll know. Vil? Yeah, yes, yes. But, 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 Vil, Vil, yes, I, but. Don't worry. Well, you'll, you'll be able to, to do something else. You know, it turns out when you stutter in real life, you can do stuttering as a character pretty well. <laughs> I think the zip lines is our best option so far. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it, man. Let's try it. I'm feeling adventurous. All right, so you all set it up. And as you guys open the door, you see they're, they're not making aggressive motions towards the door. In fact, the scurrying you heard outside seemed to be them backing up quite a bit. So now there's about a 20-foot perimeter from the building. And there are no... Yeah, it's still not, still not fucking with it. Yeah, they're still just, like, looking at you. Um, we should uh, probably have Atali help whoever's not very acrobatic get across. Hello. Hey, hey, David. Yeah. A second stupid question. For the sound waves and vibrations that they can hear, would that count as sound waves? What are you? Because technically, at? what are you planning? And I'll, I'll, because, because they, they have both ears and tremor sense. You know. Because uh, silence, you can do it with a, a radius sphere, so that would make it so that the. Silence, vibrations silence effects silence effects like sound waves going through air not the sound waves through the ground oh okay. um, also if you are a spellcaster you likely have more spell slots than you thought if you take a look at the 5e changes document you get extra spell spell slots based on your uh your oh, casting darkness i'm not actually a spellcaster right? and uh i have a ton more spell slots which is super neat <laughs> what are spells wait and by a ton i mean like <laughs> let me see that four. Four. where is it uh, under spell, in the class, under spell casting, it's it's at the top of the document. There's a table that says extra spell slots based on your ability, based on your casting modifier. Wait, my uh, casting modifier? Yes, you get yes, extra spell you cast slots based on what your casting in, modifier in, is. Like, you get uh, something based on that. It's... So my modifier is a four, so that means I get. Damn. Nice. I get one uh, more of each. Would you look at that? Yo, it's almost like it pays to read the fucking document, you nerds. I, I did read it, but no, I was just Zoe, I'm commending you because you... why I asked you. Yeah, yeah, Zoe, Zoe does great. This is why I invite keep inviting Zoe to play back into my campaigns because she reads the things that I do. Hey, I was trying to help Skyler with his. Thank you, Nick. I also appreciate you very much. You're beautiful. How do you actually make that change, though? Uh, you use, you use the wheel on the top, and then you there's a slot that you can literally it. just add it. Thank Yo, you. I have a level 4 skill slot, but I have no level 4 skills, so that means I'm going to be upcasting. Alright, yeah, so... So yeah, you all look and the, the, like as you guys like prepare your plan. You all look out the window and you you're the door, like the door that you peek open, and you all see they're just like looking at you. They're giving you space. They're, they they obviously see you, but they're yeah. all just looking. I mean, did we potentially kill their like? Did we kill their? Hive we didn't kill their leader. Mind or? No, no, dumb human lady. <laughs> no, no, dumb human Shut lady. The fuck up, rat bitch. Oh my god, that was fucking Do any of the do any of the ones that look like uh this one appear to be be there? I think I already know which one. Do not appear to be any Ah. Hmm. So all their commanders don't seem to be around. 
Mm. They might have more important things to do at this moment. I mean, and we should probably get out pretty quickly. Yeah, let's just out. err on the side of <laughs> caution and uh, make like a tree and run. What? <laughs> make like a refrigerator and run. No, it would be make like a refrigerator and break. <laughs> okay. So are we just are we still using the zipline, or are we just booking it? I think we uh, let's use the zip line. That sounds fun. All right, yeah. I'm not even gonna make you guys roll for it because they're they're not contesting. As you guys zip forward, they the, like the the waves of these infected like part before you. Hmm. Hmm. This, I I can't help but be completely unsettled by this. Yep. Same. I am incredibly uncomfortable with this whole situation. I'm still going to keep going. <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, just scoot as fast as possible. So, are we just booking it back to where we came in? Are you? Um, yeah. Does the barrier still exist? Yes, the um, barrier does still exist. That's okay. Good. That's good. Uh, aren't we looking Before for something? Before we cross though? the barrier. Can can I read the the, the parchment again? Sure. I mean, yeah. It it just says get get the diamonds of midnight and then uh, come back, basically. Okay, so, so it's that's just uh, diamonds of midnight. Back. Hmm. If we leave with the diamonds of midnight, can. We, like, take a real hard look at the Diamonds of Midnight. Yeah, let's do that. Once we get out and, like, we're safe, let's... Wait, before we... Actually, before we get out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, before we get out. Could we see where the center of that... Of the barrier was, roughly? Uh, it'd be a walk. You guys are on, like, one of the side parts. Okay, okay. Just... I was just curious. (laughs) Don't worry, you guys can always come back. Who knows? <laughs> you might even have to. Ha 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 ha. No. Yeah, we're 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 gonna take a real hard look at the diamonds of midnight. Just as hard as the diamonds are. Uh, By that roll investigation, I think for me, if that's the relevant check that you want. I mean. They look like diamonds. They feel like diamonds. They're diamonds, but they're black with with do purple they and white specks. They taste like diamonds. They do, in fact, taste like diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> they are also, in fact, giga magical. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Arcana would be the other one too. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, Arcana, you, you you don't even have to make an Arcana check. Arcana would tell you that they're magical. What you need is identify. Do we got an identity? Magic? We got a pearl. Uh, hmm. Almost I, like. Oh no. Hmm. I don't. I don't remember. Did Did someone get a pearl? Or no? I don't think so. I think we've just been kind of DM hand waving that. If one of you will uh, detract a hundred gold from your listed gold value, I'll say you bought a pearl retroactively. Yeah. What All right. Done. Was it's done. We had one stood at some point, but yeah, that works. All right, we have a pearl. You guys do, in fact, now have a pearl. Yo, Crazy! Isn't that isn't that dope? This, this is how convenient. Bro, salami. I really want gummy bears. Fuck. What are these on the side? What? On the right side of the map. Oh, yeah. Didn't mean to put those. That is an NPC that I'm making for you guys. I see. So, also, can someone delete this nine so, die? I'm deleting the nine die. So, okay, well, thank so, you. so it who's, who's casting it? Who's casting it? Definitely not me. 
I do not have We have it's, two it's clerics? It, yeah, clerics That's for this what... campaign have access to it, and it is also a ritual spell, and you do not need to have ritual spells, spells prepared. Fancy. Yeah. I mean, I'll ritual cast it. Are you guys going to take the ten minutes to do so? Do we want to uh, start with the close? seventh diamond? Start with the seventh diamond, but we can do it closer to the barrier so that yeah. if we get if interrupted, something goes we wrong, can we can just here. sprint. Yeah. So you all are oh. gonna, you all are going to walk to the walk to the barrier first, and then and then do the identify thing. Yeah. All right. So yeah, you all get to the barrier relatively easy. They follow you. The whole horde of them follow you the whole way. Huh. They, do they? They don't get close to you. They stay about thirty feet away from you, but they they're watching all of them. Watching. Mm -hmm. Oh, can so, we get a so, small amount of um, our friend's blood real quick, just in case we have to bolt? Let's do that in advance. Well, I, I, I mean, we could do that while they're doing identify. I only just got yeah. back. Why do I feel like taking these diamonds outside the barrier is a bad thing? It might not be that. It... Oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to say it because I, I I hope somebody else on our team figures it out. I'm just going to say Hiroki would like to do medicine checks on everybody. You what? Are, are we, like, marked? Can I investigate myself? <laughs> you may investigate yourself. Or... But, uh, David, you heard what I said, right? Medicine checks, yes. Yes, especially because he read about it, too. I got a 19. Do I investigate anything? Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure this would be an investigation check, Skylar. Well, it would be medicine. It's medicine. medicine. It's medicine. It would be medicine. <laughs> there from before. Uh, so Skylar yeah. does not get to roll medicine because he rolled five times, so I'm disqualifying him. I. <laughs> That's a lot of rolls. Can I roll even though I'm doing the ritual? Nat one, no, you cannot roll because you're doing the actual. Yeah. Villain rolls a nat one. Uh, Skyler essentially rolls a zero. Damn, I literally just like actually, medicine no, check. Skylar, and I will up. take a roll, but I will take the lowest roll out of all the rolls you rolled, which is a nat. I mean, it was the first. It was the. It I didn't attempt roll as well. Yeah, you can roll zoo. Medicine, man. One of the things I'm actually good at it. I don't. What about Uh, Hiroki, are you gonna roll medicine? Uh, can you oh, do that I for me? Because uh, yeah. ah, I forgot <laughs> about that. Yo, yeah. my bad. You rolled a four. Big rip. Learning how that was robotic and slow and slow motion. For me, it's always terrible when I roll. Yo, I'm loving this slow mo robot, slow mo robot. Slow mo robot. You actually sound like a slow motion robot. Bro, these sci fi sound effects are getting wacky. We're not playing Open Galaxy. Oh, bro. Hold on a minute. <laughs> So, did I identify do anything, David? Uh, so yeah, so which which diamond are you identifying? I mean, Should I suppose we... you could do it on all of them. I'll let you do it on all of them. So as you look at these diamonds, and as you cast magic upon them, the constellations all shift, and the, the stars in them all shift and swirl into constellations. And you can, I, you can see these constellations. These are constellations of the night sky. You, as you're, as you're trying to, as you're digging deeper into the magic, you can tell it's very, very old magic. It is, uh, hmm. strangely enough, it's evocation magic. It is a mis mix of evocation and abjuration magic, actually. And it is, because they're, you're trying to focus on each individual piece, you can't really see how they fit together. 
it's it's very confusing. You know that it it calls forth great power and then stops something. It 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 it, it calls it requires great power and calls forth like this great this it has this great calls forth this big great thing that you can't really tell because you can't piece it together. And then it, it it stops. It like it'll it'll stops things within this area. Hmm. So my internet just went out a little bit there, so I don't know what happened in the last like thirty seconds ish. Hmm. So what happened? These these diamonds are very old, very ancient magic, and they're meant to their evocation and abjuration. Those are the 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 schools it's the schools of magic that you're pulling off of them. Hmm. So uh, while this is, there's the wait for the identify, uh, vi vi villain tries to throw himself at the. They scoot back. He just hisses at them. They're all watching, looking. They're the they're the eyes which are on stocks peering at you almost As Hiroki is like, Give me your arm, I need to check it for something. Never mind. Next <laughs> <laughs> On repeat. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Can I take one of them and like uh while while still looking at all of the uh slivers, like uh move around and see if they follow it? Move move one of what? The diamonds? The diamonds, yeah. They do in fact. Huh. <laughs> Are they avoiding the diamonds? They're watching. They're watching. Can we have Atali do some acrobatic bullshit, but take one of the diamonds and see if they walk away from her? Some of them do. Some, not all of them. Some of them are focused on the other diamonds. So they're like linked to the diamonds. They're watching. Huh. Sitting up, sitting down, laying back, and thus watching you. And your lower back. Right there, man. One time in my life, but sure enough. Mm. I'm sort of worried well, about bringing these out of the barrier. Well, it's the the, villain, the villain's just going to try to. The villain's going to start walking towards the barrier. They fought there. They, they, they just keep watching. They're just watching. Um, I mean, at some point, we just gotta say fuck it, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, I'll go, what do you call it? Put our friend's blood in the chalice, or the, not chalice, the bowl. Right, yep, uh, I think it was 2d6, right? It was a d, it was 1d6. Yeah, one, was it 1d6? Cause, okay. Because uh, I think I rolled in the You take 4 damage. As you feel your life essence drain out, and uh, some of your life essence drain out, and you see the bear, this golden barrier that's erected in front of you that goes all that goes up, up farther than you can see, and you uh -huh. feel you feel some of your life essence drain into this. Well, do we? Weird. Do we? Do we just take them out of the barrier? Villain just walks out of the barrier. As soon as villain walks out of the barrier, they all they all just disappear. They all start tunneling away. Hmm. Hmm. Well, did did villain walk out with one of the hmm. diamonds? Hmm. I think I thought he did. I do have one. Okay, yeah. then well, I think everyone has one. 
Yeah, everyone has one, and one of us has two. We never decided who, but we'll Actually, just say we, someone has it. I think Villain would have it since Villain retrieved it. Actually, oh, yeah. we should uh, we should give it, it to Atali because of plot immunity. It, okay. Uh, if you give it to Atali, uh, you, she will no longer have plot immunity. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just say Villain has it because Villain retrieved it. All right. Well, Villain walked out with one, so with two. With two. Oh, yeah, two. Yeah. Guess I'll just walk out too. Yeah, they're all they're gone already. Villain already walked out. We just walk. Yeah. 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 Let's. Does anything happen? Let's go get these diamonds to the people that need it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do. Do go do. So, so you guys, you guys start running these up the stairs. Exactly. I didn't hear what you said. What do these diamonds do exactly? They're necessary for the ritual, which is the um, the ritual of the eclipse, which will block the sun and prevent the sun speaker from committing an act of war against mm -hmm. literally every other pan god in the pantheon. Mm -hmm. All right, those sound important. Let's go. Yeah, let's do. <laughs> So yeah, you all make it back, and um, you like as you guys are walking through the city, like you guys see that like fighting has broken out. Um, like you, you see you see scorched bodies and like bodies that have been bloodied with with blades. And you, 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 like the streets you guys are walking through, taking back is just like looks like a war zone. Jeez. Oh, um. Straight for the star speaker. Yeah, let's go. Let's go quickly. Yeah, so you all you all you all head over there. And the star speaker is currently in his like scaven form. Uh he's just like he's just like stroking his face. You mean his whiskers? Yeah. I hold up a diamond. Okay. You see him rush over to you, and he collects the diamonds, and he, uh, he, like, starts placing them on the table and starts, like, starts, like, mixing, mixing, like, dried herbs and starts mashing things. Oh, and you all also see the moon speaker. And he, he bows to you and says welcome. And gives greetings. I bow politely in, in return. Um... I also start briefing the moon speaker on what the events that occurred yeah. below. Okay, yeah. So you, you're, you're so they they all they all they all say hmm, troublesome and worrying, but it is not of. We need to focus on this now. And uh, the the star speaker turns to you guys and says, "I can perform the ritual of eclipse. I am I am probably only one strong enough." A block out sign. But, uh... Rest is up to you. I can give chance. Rest is up to you. Then, I guess we should probably ask what we should be preparing for? Yeah, uh, specifically if there's any special things that we need. He, the, 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 he, he turns and says... They cannot use magic while ritual going on. No follower of sun can use magic. And he looks at he looks at you, Adric. Um, that includes you, Buckaroo. He goes, should be easy. They go with you. And he points to the he points towards the moon speaker and the river speaker and the arch paladin. Well, Hold on a second. In that case... What time are you performing the ritual? I will start... I should be ready in one hour. Make preparations okay. until then. How long will the sun be blocked out? I can hold for maybe ten minutes. 
Okay. So, what are we doing in these ten minutes? We're like... We're assassinate the something? sudden speaker. Yeah. Hmm. Would there be a way to... Or capture him. I don't know. It depends. I wasn't able to find anything on appointing a new sun speaker while the current one is still alive. Hmm. Yeah, that might be a... I, I think, honestly, that just murder the guy who's be the issue. Murder time. You said we have an hour, right? We have an hour to prepare yes. and then ten minutes to do whatever. How long does it do. take to get over there? Not very long. Uh, and actually, as an you hour all, and twenty minutes. As you all, as you all are doing this, right? As you all are having this conversation, like uh, a young man in like in an armor, who's like his face is bloodied, uh, like like splattered with blood, and his armor is splattered with blood. He runs up to you and says, "He's like he he's out of breath, and he's like he's like I I bring 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 a message." And he's just like breathing heavily, and he's just like trying to like catch his breath. No. Is he hurt, or is he just he's, out of breath? He just out of breath. Ran. Speak. Like he's out what of is breath. your message, boy? And he's still breathing. He says, "The sun speaker. He comes out of the palace of the sun. He comes to speak. To speak of what? He comes to parley." Hmm. The arch paladin like d like like takes his helmet and puts like puts it on and says, he like gestures towards the start speaker and says, "Do make your preparations. We'll buy you as much time as we can." And then he just starts walking out. All right, uh, yeah, let's do that then. Prepare any spells you need, kiddos. Right. We're going to fuck uh, the sun. Uh, and What's actually, everyone? And, uh, actually, we're going to talk right now. Before you guys leave. Uh, the the river speaker says, "I may not be much help in combat, but I can do this." And she starts doing. She starts a quick. She starts a prayer, and takes about a minute. But uh, all of you gain the effects of a long rest. Oh, cool. oh. nice! I need <laughs> those. I, I like how Adric's the only one who really, really understood what that means. Oh, he's the one who uses spell slots. I mean. I have Doesn't spell matter, slots, yeah. but I just have not. I been get back about my. Left. I get back my advantage, and that that's pretty much mostly it. <laughs> I'm not gonna be worried about. I'm most happy about the health. Yeah, I'm more happy about the health than about. I got all of my key points back, which is actually super nice. Super uh, nice. Yes, monk punch boy. Milk. It's like milk boy points. Le Mon. Le Monk. Le Gromp. <laughs> I don't really have much to do as far as preparation goes. I'm yeah. not So you all you all you all make your way towards this bridge and like this like or uh, or towards toward like towards the outskirts of town and as you all like start walk like walking, you see that there's this beautiful like this big lake with like that's like uh, it's smooth and like its reflection is almost mirror like, and walking like in the middle of this 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 lake is a, a bridge that leads towards this this big golden palace, <laughs> or palace looking structure. And you all th for uh, those of you who are familiar with uh, Azalucia, this is this is the oasis of the dawn. All right, let's head out. Yeah, so you all, you all, you all walk out, and you all see, you all see uh, this this figure who who's just like radiating light. He carries with him a golden spear with a, with a blue with like a bright blue tip. All right. He's wearing golden armor. Uh. And behind, be walking behind him, there are figures, but you can't see them before because his just his aura is so bright. And he walks to the middle of the bridge, and he wait, he waits. What is the sun speaker's name again? Uh, 
pretty sure you could just refer to him as the Sun Speaker. Yeah. Just the Sun Speaker. His name is Sol, though. You all would know that. (laughs) Fuck, of course it is, David. (laughs) Hey. It's whatever, right? What's the Arch Paladin doing? He's 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 got his hand gripped on his sword. He's got his hand gripped on his great sword. One, two, he, like, three. He's very nervous. All right, class war. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how much help it'll be, but here if you will say, if this can end without bloodshed, that would be without further bloodshed. That would be the best. In fact, it would be, but I do not trust this man. And so he takes his hand off his sword, but his hand is still clenched into a fist, and he walks forward. And the other speakers walk forward with him, the only absence being the star speaker. Do you all follow, or do you all stay? Villain v- just walks uh, basically as close I to the sun speaker I don't see why we shouldn't follow. Yeah, let's follow. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, Whatever close... happens here, history is in the making, so Hiroki's going to follow. <laughs> how close can Villain get to the Sun Speaker before like he puts uh, his hand on any weapon? Get within, like, as soon as you get within like ten feet of him, like uh like the uh, other like people the people behind him like step in front and like point spears at you. He just w- walks right up to the spears and just stares them in the eyes. His dead eyes. Yeah, they're they're just pointing spears at you. No, yeah. no, it's a power move. <laughs> it's also giving Hiroki conflicted feelings. It's just like, <laughs> what are you doing? Doesn't fear death what anymore. Are you doing? That's all Hiroki did. So, uh, you guys take over. Yeah. So, what are you all? What are you all doing? As we, I mean, as we follow, do they talk? Do we notice anything? Um. Uh, yeah. So the 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 the, the sun speaker will. He's a he's a young man. He's got like a short like, he's got like a short beard. Um, and like flowing flowing hair. Like, um, he's very like, young. Oh, he, looks, he he appears to be early twenties, in his early twenties. Oh. oh, so he's still older than Hiroki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's he's again still still very very young. Um and he says he said and he 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 looks at you and he says This is your last warning. Cease this rebellion and all will be forgiven. Why stifle an entire people's way of belief? Belief is a luxury that we cannot grant people at this time. I read the omens. I've re- read the portents. The darkness is coming. What do Great you mean? Darkness. And to push back the darkness, we need the light. And that light is Ka. Could it not be said of Merit, Crescendia, or any other number of gods? Could not. They are not they are not as strong. They do not possess the strength nor the mind nor the ability to drive back the darkness. If you truly believe that, then you are merely a fool. I am the sun speaker. You would be a wise fool, to that's... choose your tongue. Anything that the other gods grant is only given because of Ka. You say the moon grants light. Ka is the god of light. Merit is the goddess of water and river. Ka allows the river not to be dried up and run barren. But if God's power runs too rampant, it would dry up. And there would be no river, there would be no grass, no trees, no life. What you are trying to do is more than heretical. I am seeking to save us and I am seeking to save the world. If you want to save the world, why not involve everyone in you it? You seek to serve yourself and nothing more. I do not. But if that is how history would like to see me, then they may. 
A calamity is coming, one like the days of old. If you'd care to be more specific and less you are frustrating, one, are you not? Do you not know of the calamity? Would I know of the calamity? You would know of the calamity. All right. The Explain. calamity is uh. Oh, is that what put the reach there? No, it was. You know, you know, you know what oblivion is, right, Skylar? I know what the word means. Oblivion in this universe is what happens when gods die. It's where gods go. When oh, they die. yeah. Okay. Yeah. The calamity is what created the oblivion. It is the origination. It was the first. It was the first death of gods. Okay. No one knows what happened during it. It's all very. No one knows. Hmm. It was ended when the gods gods gave man power. The gods gave the gods the gods made aspects human beings and living warriors that they would put their they would give a fraction of their power to. Or that's a bad way of putting it. Each of the god each god each selection of gods would give their powers to one person. So each of the sun gods would put would put give a fragment of their power to one person. So that okay. person would be a little bit of every sun god. Would have a piece of power from every sun god. Because they all draw the power from the same ish place. Yes. Okay. Those, were, those, those people were called aspects. Okay. Yeah, so that, that's what you would know. Um, I mean, the, the, having another calamity, just would that make it more likely for gods to die? I'm, I'm not sure I'm following the percent. Because it seems like the calamity it, it, it is just the inciting upon the world. Like there, there were civilizations before the calamity, great civilizations, which were wiped out and utterly destroyed. Okay. Okay. And like the world was basically set anew. Okay. And the sun speaker continues, "I do not do these things in greed. I have seen the portents." I have seen the omens. The darkness is rising, and I see it on the horizon. And I must be the dawn. I, I just don't see how eradicating the following of the other gods helps here. Do you know what gives gods the strength? Enlighten me. Belief. Our belief in them grants them power. And one cannot believe in more than one? If we do not unify our belief, we cannot drive back the darkness. And if you tyrannize your, your citizens... They may choose not to believe anyway. Oh, hey, guys, uh, I need five minutes. I have fucked something up. Give me one second, okay? <laughs> no, it is not something to do with this. It is something to do with something else. Just give yeah. me one second. You're fine. So how would be, kids? Hmm. It'd be... It do it, be good. It, it, it do be do. I'm playing a depressed character, so I'm trying to be depressed. I don't know if it's working or not. I think it's working great. I think you're doing wonders. Your roleplay is exquisite. All right, cool. Uh, I fixed it. Never mind. It didn't take me very long. Shut up, David. What a liar. Okay. Well, okay. I didn't. I thought I was gonna have to call somebody. I didn't. I just had to click buttons. Um, I will be right back. Uh, I. All right, cool. Yeah, While you're doing I, that, I will, I'm gonna find somebody else to order dinner from because I'm starving. <laughs>
All right, then I'm going to go get a cookie because I made cookies the yep. other night. We're going to wait for Skylar to get back and we will continue. Playing a depressed character is depressing. I know. It when, makes when, sad. When, when, when can a villain start his pyromaniac spree? <laughs> <laughs> It's not poisonous? Come on. What do you mean it's not poisonous? Didn't you want to make a uh, twitch? <laughs> stink rat and stink mouse. Oh, guys, I finally got out of iron. Proud of you. Congratulations. I still need to get the gold. Nick, I'll do it with you. <sighs> Since Justin's abandoned me for Skylar. Time to get to silver. I hope I still only played, I think, 20 games. No one ever wants to duo with me, so I just don't play it too often. Wait, duo with me. We're both bronze. I'll play right? with you on my um I'll play with you on my smart. Chode word? Yeah. It owns like Azir, Raven, <laughs> Rise, and Callista. Darbney. Yeah. If you want to play, I'll play with you on my smart. Yay. Can we start winning games? Oh, hell yeah. I don't know about that one, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> and start losing games, but we can believe we're winning. You know what? Lose, but together. Exactly. That's the important part here. I had a burst penta stolen from me yesterday. Penta you had a what? Uh, it, it would have been a penta on Swain. I would have bursted all. I would have bursted all five with my ult if uh, Draven didn't kill one of them right before I bursted everyone. Else. That sounds like a big sad. It's almost like get fucking good, dude. It is so satisfying when you press your ult and then Zanya's and all five enemies stay inside of your ultimate. That sounds like the five enemies are being stupid, though. It w it was perfectly timed because they had just full engaged on me. Because uh, they were being carried by their Poppy, and I was being the carry for my team. And so Poppy went in, so Nami and uh, MF followed up with their ults, mm -hmm. and I think Nico might have as well. So I just Zanya's before I took any real damage. And then as soon as I came out, I uh, flashed onto the... So I was on all five of them and pressed R again. Nice. Okay, so I think we're all back. Zoe, are you back? Oh, no, never mind. Sorry, I'm a liar. Yeah, I got all of them besides MF. It was mm -hmm. unlucky. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be gone for about 30 seconds, give or take 10. Probably give 10, let's be honest. I'll miss you. I already miss you. God damn. Holy shit, why is it giving me multiple things? All right, so, yeah. Also, David, why does why does Poppy have to be so tanky? Because she's a tank. But I mean, because her W. It's annoying when I'm full build and still can't duel her. <laughs> Unless I have my ult up, that is. Mom, don't worry. I made it home. All right, bye. Oh, so when I was driving home, I did I'm something uh, a little bit dumb, guys. You know. Hmm. What did you do? So you do you guys know past like? Oh, uh, I'm back. Do you guys know the the area like if you drive past like out by past Sean's house, like there's the really like windy like canyon place. What? Never, never mind. Everyone's back. So. <laughs> yeah. So. So. Yeah, he says, he says, I, he says, he continues, I seek self, I seek to save this world. 
you will stand against me. I think we disagree on the way that you're trying to save the world. The because, other, uh, the, 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 you haven't really told anyone about this until now. The uh, he says I told them, and he looks at the speakers, and they all they all like stare back at him. And how did you? The, the arch paladin says, "You're not. You're not. You are not speaking salvation. You are speaking madness and mania, destruction and, and conquering. You are seeking war." How do we know these premonitions are correct and not just the ramblings of a madman? The sun speaker is like he looks at you and he says, "Are you even from this land?" Yes. Do you know why I was made sun speaker at the age of eleven? Would I? Yes. Or, well, I mean, would you? Roll me history check, even though it's like very recent history. I mean, it is recent history, but it's also in in a church she doesn't follow. So, yeah, no, you wouldn't know. That's an eight. I don't know. I am given... I was born with the gift of Oracle. I see the future. I read the omens and the portents. Prove it. Do you see the future, or do you see a future? I see what is coming. I see the future unless I prevent it, or unless something is done to prevent it. Mm, so a future. Which I am trying to prevent, mind you. You wanna kill your husband? Yeah. I give you this one chance to leave. This is my this is my last opportunity for you to leave with your life. How much time have we bought from the ritual? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Probably about 20 minutes. 20, 30 minutes. Well, guys, we just need to keep them here for about 30 to 40 more minutes. We got them. <laughs> How do you propose stopping the darkness aside from just vanquishing the other churches? First, it starts in, in my land. There needs to be unity. Unity under Ka. Then it will. Ex- no. Then we will extend it to other lands. Once the other date. Once the false gods of the other suns are eradicated, I can. I will become. I will become the aspect of the sun. Without aspects, without the aspects here, for they have all vanished. We stand no chance. You still have no! I got bug bites! Yeah, I think I got one too. Also, while we're distracted, um, the Volley Bear rework is going to get released at 8 p.m. Pacific PDT. Tonight. I apologize for any background noise. Looking for um, anti itch cream. It's all good. So he says, he, he then turns to you and says, Your choice. Leave the city at once, or lay down your arms, or die. And what if we just do none of these things? He points, he levels the spear at you, and the tip starts to glow. He says, are you willing to find out? I think you were merely a child trying to prove himself. And with that, he spins, he spins the spear, slams the butt on the ground, and this massive lake you guys are on just evaporates into a cloud of steam. A powerful child. But a child nonetheless. And what would you call yourself? Old and world-weary. I've seen enough. I call you foolish and stuck in one place. 
You cannot seek to look forward as you're so busy looking back on your life full of regret with the things you have not done. <laughs> the things no that you have done, like lose your ship? <laughs> you. No! Not my ship. It is exactly that which you speak of that the teachings of merit prevent. Water flows. The sun burns. The sun does burn. The sun Never also stop. provides light, which will drive back the darkness, which is the oncoming storm. Do you seek to damn this world? Lowly monk. I seek. Do you seek ruin due to your inability to act? Due to your inability to change? Water is flowing, yet it is supposed to be flexible and should change. Change to match the needs of the time. And this is what these times need. You're calling. The water should and flow. The very doctrine that you speak of. Say that the very doctrine. You are calling for me to abandon the very ideas that you speak of. I am, in fact. If I were to abandon the water, I would lose my flexibility and be stuck. Would you rather be dead? Even if somehow you manage to stop me, then you will die at the hands of something far worse. Or be dead than stuck. Yes, but it is not your place to make that choice for all these people. You keep talking it's also not dark. your place to choose what god they can worship and what they can't. You keep talking about this darkness and, you know, dying at the hands of something worse. Do you know what this thing or thing, it is the whatever calamity. is in darkness? It is what killed the first gods. It is what's set in motion, what we now call Oblivion. It is what erased the old kingdoms and wiped civilizations from the map. Just, so did this happen before I died or I died? Before you died. Much, okay. like, long before you died. Like, you would even, you, I am you aware used, this is a thing. Yeah, so yeah, you are very much aware that this is a thing. Hmm. Big hmm. Is there like detailed history on what the calamity really is? None. There's all this speculation of it was some something some some monster from from beyond that sought to eat worlds. There's speculation that it was a great plague. There was speculation that it was another god. All this speculation, no one knows what it was. How much time have we bought now? Uh, yeah, okay, I'll say that. I'll say that that's enough time. And That's as enough this time. happens, the the light, the like the you guys you guys see, and again, like there's this swirling sandstorm around you, but inside this, like right inside the sandstorm, you see you see this black this black darkness begin to creep up. And you see the constellations in the sky. And you I see am... this black dome solidify. Alright. Is it fuck time? Is it? All right, I think it is fuck time. Here, give me one second. Let me set up. I thing. immediately cast um, water whip. Uh, can we get a reaction cast? A reaction action? Yeah, I'm gonna give everyone. I'm gonna give everyone a reaction. So. Oh my god. So also, I'd like to mention that I am the closest. <laughs> Actually, yeah. You know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna. Everyone move yourselves up to up up here. Up here. Uh put me somewhere that makes sense, David. I'll trust you. Yeah, I will. But I, I need everyone to move up that way I can uh, clear the map. Goop. And then 
I am the sun speaker. Yes, yes. I speak talk for sun. Yes. You said we got about 10 feet away from him? Villain villain was, but now there are about seven spearmen with their spear in villain's face. If villain would like to yeah. move back, I will let him. Yeah, no, he, he, he's here. Actually, mm. uh, get... villain is suicidal, right? Yeah, but like, if villain's not going to back up, Hiroki's going to match his location. So, he's over here. Or he's up here. Yeah, so the sun speaker, the sun speaker, you guys are coming from the bottom, so the sun speaker is right about here. Let me find. Oh, that's cool. That'll have to do. Oh, should we move down there now? Yep. So I assume, like, as this ritual is going into effect, I, I can feel, like, the ability to cast leave. Yeah, you, you can feel this abil the, the ability to cast, like, leave. Because leave it, like, leave, leave you. Okay. And you all, you all notice that the aura surrounding the sun speaker is dimming, but it is not gone. That's stored up magic. Uh, for those of you who are more arc arcane inclined, he is drawing, you would know that he's drawing power from the, well, the Oasis of the Dawn. Mm -hmm. Uh, give me a sec, I'll be right back. Yep, of course. I still, I also need a second. I'm sorry, okay? Bear with me. Teach creams right there. Do you need? Ow. Oh. That hurt my head. Did you bonk your head? Yes. Bonk. Yes. It probably sounded weird on your guys' end because I'm wearing headphones. All right, let me know when you all are back. I am here. Oh my goodness. I have so many welts. I hate blood bites.
So uh, my reaction, or villain's reaction, is going to be casting mirror image on himself. All right. Yep. Let's add a marker for that. There's probably a... Oh, wait, you are... Everyone's a little too close together. Oh, yeah, yeah. And also, I, I should be 10 feet away, so if you can move them up 10 more, or not 10 more, but 5 more. Yeah, perfect, thank you. Let's see if there's a good marker. Maybe this? Yep, works for me. Because it's just supposed to be that there's multiple of him. Yep, yeah, that's fine. So we have uh, an option to do a cast thingy, yes? Yep, you all can do whatever you all want. I a weapon on my gun that's not actually a gun. Yeah. Hold on, I need to do a thing. Here, let's move this guy up here. Oh, hold on, I think my phone's here. Hey, um, new volley bear's ultimate disables turrets. Wait, say that again? Say that again, Skylar? New Volley Bear's ultimate is a dash that does AoE damage where he lands and disables nearby turrets. Uh, wait, why? It looks badass. That sounds so dumb. That sounds fucking hypey, dude. It's like, hey, let's dive also, right now. Also, you know the chain lightning on his ult right now? Yeah. They moved back to passive. Really? Yeah. This champion actually looks hypey as fuck. Like, his Q, uh, he just sort of, like, overhand bashes you, and it stuns you. His W now has two parts, and is still the bite. His E is a, like, AoE skill shot thing, that if he hits himself with it, he uh, gains a shield. And then his R, I think he gains a fuckload of HP. Um, disables nearby turrets, and... Um, deals damage in an AoE. I'm also pretty sure that the uh, ult deals damage in turrets. Did I miss anything, or no? No, no but we're waiting. We're going to take a second, because my food is almost here. Um, Alright, that works, because I'm eating as well. Yeah. Oh my god. His ult can disable both of the Nexus turrets. Wait, what does his ult do? So, it's now, um, it's a big dash, and it, like, makes him really big, and, um, gives him a ton of HP. But, uh, where he lands, it's this huge AoE, right? It's about uh, two thirds in the a, AOE are disabled. It's about two thirds of a lane width AOE. Jeez, it's massive. He gains a fuck ton of HP and disables turrets. So basically, you can dive anyone. Yeah, without yeah. any His consequence. His Eldritch Horror skin is sexy. Thank you. 
Tony Manuel's test. South Baptist pastor. South Carolina Seacoast Church. Roy was the one that attacked by the say, tiger in the last thirty five. Yep, complications. Wow. Right. Like actually when Bolly Alts his character model doubles in size. So, uh, sorry, it's taking my food so long, guys. The guys so, how about them bears? Right, because she can't. Yeah, in so, the meantime, I'm taking this time to actually put this guy's stats into the thing. So, so uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, what just ah. Uh. She's going to call her now and talk to her. Hey, did you move your body? She has. Yeah, hey, I have hey. some. Uh, cool. cool. Yeah. My food's almost here. For probably the third time, it's almost here. Nice. Jesus. Yo, he has a shield. Who does? The sun speaker. He doesn't actually, that's just the only art I could find. Oh, okay. No, because she had a boyfriend. Yeah. 
half of you and your other daughter. She's like, teach them how to drive. Let me get that. You know? As long as you're legal, clean, and have uh, insurance, I think you can. Or you can like, hey, you know, you can. Sorry guys, this delivery guy is lost trying to find my house, so uh, I will be right back. Um, you, you do have kind of a weird house. We are back again. Relatable. M. Hey. Yeah. M. Yeah. Hello. Ah. Relatable. True. True.
Uh. I'll be right back. I have to go walk a block to collect my uh my fucking food. David is good. Yes, no. Uh, rap. Oh. Relatable. Frog. Relatable. Relatable. Brolatable. Big as D. What? I never knew we had like a cutting board thing here. Yeah, you cut me. <laughs> That's crazy. You put a mirror there. And I've she never seen What? I never do. I don't know why I really fucking want gummy bears. Hey Skylar, I have I have gummy bears if you come to Houston. Like I'm not usually a fan, but right now that just sounds so fucking good. If you come to Houston, I'll give you gummy bears. <clears throat> just pass some through the mic, bro. So I'm gonna unfortunately have to tell you that is not possible. But if you come to Houston, bro, I'm crushed. Thank you. 
Huh. Sun speaker is a bit strong, yeah. Yeah, he's supposed to be though. Hundred fifty health. He is level twenty. I'm back. Sorry that took so long. Holy Welcome back. Vill Villain committed suicide because it took so long. So um, I need to make a new character. Uh, are you sure? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. So yeah. So what is everyone doing? I cast right I'm gonna so, water whip. You, I'm, no, I'm gonna say you can cast the spell like a, a preparatory action on yourself. You can't make an aggressive action yet. I include moving or no? Yeah, you all, you all can move. Basically, everyone gets a setup round, so no one's really attacking quite yet. That he's not going to be able to use. Oh, before we even came out here, the conversation where I was told I wouldn't be able to use match was heard by everyone. That I think. Yeah, I, I would hope so. Yep. yep. So I can heal people if we inevitably almost die. We got a Malcolm. 
Got to blast them. Blast them. Blast them. That's still the best. I, I, I know. I know you haven't done that voice a lot, but that's still my favorite voice. Add turn. All right. So we're gonna clear everyone's initiative. All right, with that, I will need everyone to roll initiative. Ooh. Ah, sounds about right. Hmm. And add your initiative scores to your thing. Oh, uh, you uh, you get on. I got a nat one and a nat twenty on initiative. Mm. You know, that sounds unfortunate. unfortunate. Okay, let's see. Initiative. Initiative. Yo. I have a plus three, not a plus one. That's a four. Yo, guys, I actually rolled. Uh, oh, Zoe, I need to add you a turn because you are now a part of the party. You have now been gifted a turn, Zoe. Just waiting on. Villain, put your initiative in. And you need to roll for Hiroki, right? Oh, yeah, I do need to roll for Hiroki. Yep. <laughs> it's all right, because my character is pretty easy to play. I just go, attack. <laughs> Please. Whack. Whack, whack harder. G GWM whack is pace. attack with great, great Weapon Master. Hiroki rolled a seven. Neat. Whack. I mean, what I'm what I'm doing anyway. He's hesitant to start swinging first. Yeah, very only hesitant. People even reach the double digit initiative. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna say Justin's not here because I don't feel like running his character. Have fun. Oh my god. Uh, in this... return, I will remove two of these guys. I think yeah. that's fair. I think that's more than fair. Yeah. Yeah. I'll agree. I think that's a anything that's not like actively killing us uh, is fair. Yep. yep. So everyone's where they want to be. Yep. Sun Speaker will move back here. Whoops. Yeah. Here. 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 And they will step up. These are all spearmen, by the way, not swordmen. Um, yeah. No, they, they just have short spears. Right? So with that, Anipe, it is your go. I cast my, my ability move. Uh, I'll fit my... Um, do water with and see if I can't knock him. Uh, what's the range of water whip? Should be uh, 30 feet. Okay, yeah. So what do I need to do for that? Um, Actually, wait. Do you guys want me to pull him into us? Like, pull him away from his guards and then we can just focus him down? Whatever. I'm shooting from back here. Yeah, I'm actually going to pull him into us if, if I can. Um, so... It's a uh, deck saving throw, 2d8 bludgeoning damage. Okay, so he fails. All right, neat. Oh, and I'm upcasting, by the way. You have to announce that. Just make me in the future, make sure to announce that before. Oh, yeah, probably should have. Uh, I'm definitely upcasting it just by one. So he, he's just going to take an extra d8. Oh. Um, so, uh, so he's going to take 14 damage, and if he failed, he's pulled 25 feet closer to me. So he's basically pulled right next to you. Yes, he's now inside. Actually, can I have him, um, here? Yeah, I'll, I'll say, I'll all that, yeah. I am putting him directly on top of our DPS. 
So are none of the speakers that's fighting with us? Uh, I'm just, like, asking as, like, a lore part. Or not lore, but, you know. As you guys turn around to look at the speakers, you all have been surrounded. The speakers are all back here, protecting you from about 30 other clerics. Okay. Sorry, I, I just wanted to know, lore-wise. Yeah, Slap yeah. This is meant to be your guys' badass moment. Fuck the speakers. They're off. They're on, they're on crowd control duty. Which you know logically doesn't make sense, but you know for the for the story factor it does. Okay. You know what? If it's for the story, anything makes sense. Oh, uh, roll or are they going? They're all on the same turn. Never mind. Yeah. So is that your turn, Anipe? Um, can I do anything else? I don't know. Can you? Um, I'm not sure. I don't Good question. <laughs> I'm not the fuck to play a monk. Um. Then we assume we assume no. So then it is villain's turn. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can't can't I do the uh, extra attack thing for a key point? Nope, because you Still? did not take. The, you did not attack. You took. You cast the spell. Okay. Um. I'm also going to put up patient defense. Okay, yeah, that you can do. And uh, I'm going to enter water form. So it'll be another two, but I get plus one to all my saving throws and I get advantage. Let me try. Or not advantage, excuse me, I get dodge. Mm. You can only do one or the other, Skylar. Wait, really? Because entering your elemental form is a bonus action and patient defense is a bonus action. Um. Uh, dodge is better, so I'll just do, I'll just do the, uh, patient defense then. Hold on. Villain, it's your turn. Hmm. Okay, so. What should I do? Okay, so I, him, you notice that um, around him, part of the his part of this aura, like your your blow seems to strike him, and it seems to be blocked by this radiant aura. Oh no, he's got shield off of him. It still does damage, but it does damage to his temporary HP. Okay, so I'm going to uh, it. I'm going to use my bonus action first. And cast Vicious Mockery okay. on the uh, Sun Speaker. Wisdom saving throw. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. And my spell save. Okay. Sorry, he's a high level cleric. <laughs> yeah, I was just I was just gonna see. All right. Um. Anything else? You well, want well, that was just my bonus action. So he's gonna charge straight at the spearman. Uh, the spearman is gonna make an attack of opportunity. Wait, he makes an attack of opportunity as I'm walking towards him. Yes, because they have reach. So you were already in there, or no? You're leaving. Wait, did he I was there? here. Yeah, they have spearmaster, so yeah, they can do that. Oh, okay. If you'd like to not, you can instead not. But I, I, I would like to not. Did not know. Okay. What their reach was, sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So then he's going to be doing a long around to get to here. Okay. And then he's going to attack the uh, Sun Speaker. Are you with using this. Bardic Inspiration for Psychic Blades or not? Yes, I am. Okay. Again, just make sure to announce that. Okay. Well, I still need to see if I hit first. Yeah, yeah, I heard. So. Does 23 hit? Mm. No, 23 does not hit. Okay. 23 is his AC. 
Well, that then that's the end of that's the end of my turn then. It is his turn. Um, so he cannot cast spells. So what would he do? Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. He's really high level, guys. I have a lot of options. Uh. Yeah, okay. He is going to... Channel Divinity. No, he's not going to channel Divinity yet. He's just going to attack... Who would he attack? So, he doesn't really see Villain as a threat. No offense, Villain. Anipe pulled him, but he definitely scared of Hiroki. Also, Villain took that full offense. <laughs> oh, okay, but also, oof. the other thing to him, Adric is a, is a heretic. Ad Adric's following a false god. And I did say I was going to focus Adric today. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Fuck it. All right, the three of you get a tax opportunity. Go ahead and make them. Yeah. All right. I can oh. do this. Can't I do multiple, or is it? Do we just get one? You just get one. Okay. Because it's an attack of opportunity. Mm, I will roll for Hiroki. Hiroki, how do you want to attack? Um, give himself. Oh wait, he can't give himself that opportunity. Never mind. Uh, sure, great, great weapon should do. Miss. Okay. So, Dylan, are you attacking? I already tried to. Oh. Got a 22. Oh, yeah. Uh, Adric, are you ready for the, for, um, for fuck? Yeah, sure. Here, let me make a macro, because he's going to be attacking quite often. Oh, fuck. Like that. Uh, let's see, it does... How much damage does a spear do? Into D8, because he's using yep. it. Oh, he does have a spear? Yeah, he does, he, he, he's using a spear. Mm. Wait, let me see. Because he has spear master. Let me make sure that that feat works. Yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da. It is a d10 damage. Good to know. Good to know. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to be doing much damage in this fight anyways. That yeah, sounds like a personal problem. Yeah, no, that part would not work right now, because the sun's blocked out, right? Yeah. Cool, there we go. Whoops. Uh, hold on. Uh, is that a plus 19? And yes, that is a plus 19. Alright, so 30 to hit you, Adric? Uh, yeah, yeah, that hits. God, it's not rolling damage right. All right, whatever. By the way, unless he not ones, he hits me. It's almost like he has a relic weapon. No. And then he has a good. plus 19. He's a high level. Like, the, like yes. I have like a plus eight right now at level six, so 
again, consider Within the fact that this is a very magical spear. We're fucked. You know, it's almost like I told you guys. He's like level 30 or something. I assume that's the damage I took. 19? Yeah. And then you're gonna take you're gonna take that damage again. You're gonna take some more damage. Take 15 more damage. Alright. That's his turn. Or right, he's not gonna he's gonna say, again, I offer you clemency. I offer you mercy. Lay down your arms, and you can leave. I feel like at this point we're kind of in it, boys. I will follow with what the rest of the party does because I have been dead for a while. He's offering you a chance to surrender and flee the city. Basically. But, like, are we going to have another chance to eclipse? Where's that one fancy paladin dude, and why is he not helping us? Uh -huh. you know, yeah. At this point, the paladin will turn around and come help you guys. The other speakers will not, though. I mean, are we going to get another chance to do the whole eclipse thing, or is that kind of just a one-time deal? You don't know. I mean, given that we don't know if we can do the Eclipse thing, this is our best shot at taking. Yeah. So he would probably be about here-ish coming into battle? Or would he be more like here? Mm. We'll say he ran up here. There we go. All right. Roki. Yes. It is your turn. Is it? Okay. No, I, I was waiting for the confirmation there. Um, yeah, who's even... the closest one to me right now? You are, To your left is Villain, to your forward and to your right is Anipe. And are there any enemies not near, directly nearby me? to you, but you can move Wait, the sun speaker, I pulled him directly into me. Well, no, and then he took attacks of opportunity from all of you to go hit Adric. Oh. <laughs> he moved. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hiroki will... Yeah, bring down the heat. Okay, so give him self-advantage. Um, both attacks, great weapon master with um, elven accuracy. All right. That's. Ooh. So, first attack is a 14, misses. Second attack is an 18, also misses. Um. You said they both miss? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, action surge. I'm gonna go... Oh, wait, did you roll Elven Accuracy? Yes, I rolled I rolled okay. three different, three separate attacks and used the first three as one attack and the second three as another attack. Yeah, action surge, he'll, he'll go for it again. Okay. Same deal. Same deal, but he doesn't use up one of his things because he already used it this turn. Mm-hmm. Did so, I see a crit? So, one crit, one miss. Yeah, so I use, I roll Great Weapon Master damage. How much damage is Great Weapon Master damage? A uh, flat bonus? Oh, I guess it's different in this, isn't it? Did you change it? 
Oh, I know how much damage it is. Never mind. It it's is a lot. 2d6 plus 23. Yeah, 33 damage. Nice. Is that including it critting? Oh, no, it's not. Minus three, and then minus three. Cool. So you, 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 this, this shimmering aura around him, you watch as Hiroki's, uh, like, Kopesh just, like, breaks through it and bites a wound into his, into his shoulder. Fucking murder him. Yeah, so you rolled the 2d6 plus, like, let's see, 10. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Nice. I just added 10 to your other bonus, so, you know, yeah. Alright, that's your turn. Uh, yeah. I don't have any bonus actions Elania. left to do. Alright. So, since he's in melee, I would be shooting at disadvantage, so I'm probably just going to shoot a spear would be a disadvantage, because so this is not 3-5. Ah, nice. You have disadvantage I... if they're prone, not in melee, though. Fancy, I will shoot him then. That misses, right? Yep. Oh, that one was is another crit, okay. Wow, that's super un. That that's sad. Um, yeah, so that would be twenty-two damage. Yeah. Got that that one on that D ten. That's unfortunate. Uh, some of that is acid, if that matters, but probably not. Checking, but is um. Flanking only matters if you're in melee range, right? Yeah. Not if it's a range. Mm-hmm. Right. Correct. Yep, and those are my two attacks. All right. Adrian. Hmm. Oh, wait. Um, David, not to, like... Be th- you go thinking back, but you didn't have any of those five guys move and attack us. Yeah, I know. They're standing watch. Really? Okay. They're waiting. Oh. They're waiting. I don't like that. Well, I guess I'll ch- I'm going to try to hit him with my flail. They have faith in the sun speaker. Even though you guys have done 50 out of his 250 health de- and damage to him. <laughs> Well, hits. technically, we've done a hundred out of his three hundred, right, just including Sam. Twenty-four hits. Yeah, twenty-four hits. By uh, one. Well, that's all I can do. Back to Anipe, I guess. Are we going to have a Tali jump into this battle? Back to a No, because a Tali is very convoluted, and I don't feel like dealing with that. Oh. All right. Unfortunate, um... then. Oh, you're here! <laughs> Justin, I missed you! That's, <laughs> that, that's, that's what I was saying. Sorry, Why? I was using the... I was washing my hands. Yes, a Tali I'm is here. Here? So, uh, no, no, we should have a Tali swing in from the side. Like, yes, just fucking Tarzan that shit. All right. Oh, uh, and the two ones are. Bad. Context, I missed. We're uh, fighting the Sun Speaker. Wait, we're fighting the Sun Speaker? Yes. yes. Uh, he has Eclipse on him right now, and basically only crits hit him. So, what you're telling me is. The level 25 Napalm Mage. Uh, but he can't cast magic. Mm. 
Mm. But neither can allegedly. I. Allegedly, he allegedly oh, cannot cast magic. Allegedly, get numb to fucking D and D character. Okay, so hold on. What the hell happened? Like you guys got out of the like underground and then just like we were allowed to literally walk out of the underground. They didn't stop us. Hmm. For whatever yeah. reason. That's not suspicious at all. Yeah, oh, yeah definitely not. Hmm. I hope you guys check the integrity of that barrier after the eclipse spell was cast. They hmm. have not. Hmm. They have not. Hmm. 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 Yeah, but like, fuck the sun guy, right? All right, right, right. Um, can I punch him three times? Yes, you may. <laughs> I do that. Do so. One hits. Yeah, one hits. All right, neat. Um, I deal ten damage. Woo, ten damage. Wait a minute, Adric. Yeah, that's, that's bludgeoning, right? That's just straight bludgeoning. Yeah. Your, your weapon isn't magic, is it? Uh, unless you made it, so no. It is not. So, 11, so that is 17. 17 divided by 2 is 8. So, yep. Wait a minute. 22. 22 should be 10. 10. Yeah, okay. Yeah, never mind. He, uh, he has resistance to non-magical, physical bludgeoning and slashing damage. Fun. So yes, the damage wait, calculation wait. ends up. Just, hold on, just bludgeoning and slashing, or is stabbing included Piercing, too? Piercing, slashing, bludgeoning. He has resistance to non-magical physical damage. Okay. Which is why Hiroki's attack was not reduced. Ah, because it's a magic weapon, of yes. course. Uh, so Atali, if you wouldn't mind rolling initiative, please. If he rolls a 20, he gets to go through twice here. Mm, that's not how this works. Yeah, it is. No, it's you. not. 11. Wait, hold on. Only two of you have double digits in initiative. Yeah, this was mentioned. Yep. <laughs> now three. Alright, is that, is that, Adric, what's your turn? Wait, that was, that was, uh, vill is villain's turn. So his bloodlust dies down a little bit. And he takes out his, or actually he's going to move here. I, th I think I have too many things I'm looking at. Yep. Yeah, okay. And he's going to cast oh, a song, song of Vigor uh, in a 30 foot radius. All right. I'm now invigored. Uh, I can't. Oh, because I'm doing that. Uh, 30 foot. Oh. Thank you. There you go. Is that your turn? Yeah, that'll be my turn. Alright, Atali. It is my turn. I still don't know the context for this fight, so please, someone explain to me. Elf hey, I mean, you, you, you're diving in to the fight. I mean, I am diving in. Who are the soldiers with 65 health apiece? They're currently they are... doing nothing. Yeah. Are they like statues doing nothing, or like? No, no they're, they're soldiers. soldiers. Friendly I'm reinforcements? reinforcements. Enemy reinforcements. Enemies. Enemies that aren't doing anything yet. Hmm. Because they have faith in their sun speaker. Hmm. Hmm. Which honestly makes me concerned. Ah, uh, concern indeed. Um. Why do I have a lightning bolt on my head? You still have inspiration. Ah. I am inspired. Okay. You are inspired and invigorated. Uh, we got the effects of a long rest as well, so take that. 
How yeah. Many, how many are there of you? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. That's not good at all. Um. Yeah. So, uh, just so you know, I am currently using Heightened Intuition and Hunter's Mark. Alright. Put your Hunter's Mark thing on them. You have a little token for Hunter's Mark. Alright. There we are. Um, yeah. is, it good, good, is it good or bad that I have Painted Black playing right now? Hmm. Paint it in the holy light of the sun. <laughs> I like it. Um, yeah. Um. Hmm. All right. Nothing can go wrong here, right? Nothing can go wrong. We're, we're literally invincible. Are we just like in a hall? This is no, uh, in the bridge. The bridge. Ah, oh, this is the bridge. So what you're telling me is it's liable to explode. Lovely. Also, there's no longer water, right? Yeah. There's no longer he water. He 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 wanted to show off a little bit. So he drained the river of water. He seared it. Oh, he used his magic to before leave. the eclipse. Oh, before the, okay. Hmm. All right. This is kind of awkward, but you know what? In awkward situations, all you can do is just shoot the big bad. Facts. Um. Yeah. Okay. This is a twenty-five hit. Yeah. Yes, it does. Tw Twenty-three is DC. <laughs> okay. Is well, AC. then he is grappled. Yeah. I see. And, oh yeah. Uh, six that will be damage. Yeah, Reduced to six. three. Uh twelve total. Reduced to six. Okay, fine. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Yep. Right. I forgot to add modifier. That's your turn? Yes. He is grappled, by the way. He isn't, like, currently on fire or anything that would, like, make me reconsider this, right? No, no. not yet. Okay. That's a key ward right there. I don't think it is. The Archaladin's gonna come in and make four attacks. Also, yeah, the Arch Paladin is here. His huh? Look at this loser with his big ass helmet. <laughs> Do you want? Okay, wait. Actually, should I remove him now that Justin's here? No. <laughs> no. He, you already said he's going to attack, so he has to make an attack. If you want to wave hand, like he gets knocked back or something after the attack, no, 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 then no, 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 no. he'll attack. He's just not going to smite for you, nerds. Now. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> Understandable. But smiting Miss is cool. Hit. Miss. Alright, so two attacks. Total damage being 15. This is magic damage. This is this does have magic damage. Three and a two, huh? Alright. Sunspeaker's turn. Uh-oh. <laughs> Concern. He, regain, he gains 50 temporary hit points. Huh. You what? That's not good. <laughs> oh, um, I completely forgot to say, uh, David. Um, the paladin was inspired, so he does have advantage. All right. Miss, and then one more hit. So only, only on one. Only on the first attack. Oh, only on the first attack. Yeah, uh, I will do that in a second. Uh, yeah. Whatever. I'll I'll take I'll take count it as another hit. And then that was to hit his health, I guess, before temp health. Yeah. Yeah. So he is going to use his holy symbol 
To channel Divinity as a bonus action, he's going to Baylor Nimbus. Oh, no! Like that. You see, this kids is why we stay at range. <laughs> and still get hit by, like, mini meteors or whatever. Let me see, what spell do I want to cast, though? Definitely not Scorching Ray. I was considering Scorching Ray. Please no. <laughs> scorching Ray is a fun level spell. Scorching Ray would be fun. Uh, I think absolutely not. Would kill us. Especially considering it's got double damage and <laughs> immunity to resistances. No, I think I think I think for thematic effect, it's going to be Flame Strike. Hmm. So, let me get the AoE marker. See how many people I can hit. What if you didn't hit me? Because that would be cool. Mm. This I'm, is, uh... I'm thinking right there. Right on top of all of you motherfuckers. My second... killing himself, yeah? Yes, he's doing that on purpose, though. Oh, wait. He is called the Sun Speaker for a reason. Heal me, holy flames! Let's see. So, 4d6. So, that's 8d6. Upcasting to 9th level, I think, right? You it's, what? Uh, fifth level, <laughs> so he gets uh, 4 yeah, more. He gets 4d6 more, so 12d6. 12d6 fire damage. This could actually kill us. Uh, Wait, I thought he couldn't use magic. What the hell? Okay, so I... Hmm. So go ahead, Justin. I am uh, choosing to rescind my comment due to uh, s strategic dispositions. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Please, I thought he could do magic. You guys watch. That's what the star speaker told you. You guys watch as, as you hear this this thunderous roar, of a, which sounds like a gigantic, like which sounds like a large fire. You guys watch as you see this dome of night created above the sky as it starts to crack. Well, we're completely and utterly fucked. TPK, hell yeah. So everyone, please. All, all, so villain Hiroki, the arch paladin. Except, except for me. Except for villain. It, it hits his mirror. This is an AOE spell. You still have to make the saving throw. Wow. Okay. Big sad. Man, big shame with dexterity. Wait, you have a mirror. I have I to make it my mirror throw. image. Dexterity saving throw. DC is. Uh, DC is twenty-two. <laughs> I have 3 HP. I physically couldn't. I am unconscious. I have Wait. 3 HP remaining. You have... Like, after it hits, or as of right now? Like, after it hits. I oh, went from take, 45 You guys take 82 three. damage. Or 84. Oh, never mind. I just die. Now, yeah, wait, what's what's the rule on? Is it double damage after you hit zero? Double, double, your, it's your, your maximum hit points after you hit zero. Okay. I right, cool. am. I'm just so. Thinking. So does this hit one of villain's mirrors? Okay, I'm not dead, dead, but I'm unconscious. Villain, how much health do you have? I have forty six. Villain, you are not dead. You are unconscious. But I am also unconscious. E e even though it's supposed to hit the mirrors. Uh, because it's here, an A. Mirror image. Let me scroll up and tell you what I'm talking. Yeah, about. I, I, I'll, I'll just throw, uh, mirror, throw mirror image in the chat. Because yep. I could be remembering it wrong. Each I time mean, the creature it, targets you with an attack during the spell's duration. This is not an attack, this is an area of effect spell. So, he's he's not basic, so think about it like this. He sees four of you, and he decides to hit all four. <laughs> wow, <okay. laughs> so three of us are unconscious, at least, right? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah Hiroki is also unconscious. Uh, I think we're just... Uh, is Hiroki unconscious? 82 88. fire damage. 
84. Uh, don't you have 84. the like pauldrons of uh, if I'm over 10 health? Oh, yeah. yeah, you're right. No, oh. I didn't. I forgot about that. Also, I need to make have Hiroki make a dexterity saving throw. Rich Hiroki fails with a five. Or a six, you need to roll that. It was impossible. So, I mean, it's. Not 20. He, he failed, this but still. Kind of like, you know, this is almost like it's not a fight you guys are supposed to win for plot reasons. I, I thought we were supposed to leave, so, uh. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Where is, uh, magic items? What does the, what are the, what does the thing say? The pauldrons. If I'm above 10 yeah, HP, you are, which you, I was. Hiroki is at one hit point now. Hmm. Oh. Um. Adric is down. Down. Now let's see if the Arch Paladin makes it, right, guys? Oh, boy. Uh, he's an Arch Paladin, right? He's got to have a high dexterity. No, he's he's a fucking tank. Yeah, but he's only a level, right? No, 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 no. What you need to do is ask him if he has immunity to either fire or radiance, so that way his damage is halved. <laughs> No, he does not have immunity, but he is he's not gonna die. This this just can't kill him. Unless he not wants. No, nope, he did not make it, so he takes eighty-two damage. Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Whoops. Here, let me uh let me make him a health bar that you all can see. Uh, see. Everyone, there we go. Um, minus 84. Holy shit, I just realized I'm actually blasting David. Yeah, why? The entire time I haven't had Radiance of the Dawn. That w that's a useful channel of Divinity I didn't add. What is Radiance of the Dawn? Uh, uh, well, it wouldn't work for this fight, but it, it's uh, Channel Divinity that basically uh, I can dispel any magical darkness within 30 feet, and then any creature with also in that range has to make a constitution saving throw, mm -hmm. or they'll take 2d10 plus my cleric level mm -hmm. radiant damage. Mm -hmm. Why does that sound so much less effective than Baylor Nimbus? <laughs> It could, it could have been useful for certain situations. I mean, yeah. A, a few sessions too late. Yeah. He then says to you all again, I grant you this last opportunity for clemency. I'm unconscious. So <laughs> I'm not responding. <laughs> <laughs> Consider uh, yourself clemented. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Consider yourself clementined. <laughs> I give you this one last chance to take your wounded and leave. Leave the city, never return. Stand in my way again, and you will, you will burn before Ka. Ka's a bitch boy, fuck you. Reach heaven through violence. Oh. This sounds awfully familiar. <laughs> so are we going to leave, or are we going to keep fighting him? That's like three of us are unconscious and can't contribute. Uh, I will give you all a moment to decide on this. I need to go. I need to go uh, wash my hands because my hands are still sticky from eating uh, sweet and sour chicken. You're a chicky sweeten, sir. Okay. So his. Uh, you have a decision to come to. So, okay. I don't have to say in the argument as I am currently unconscious. Same. Okay, so he just cast a ninth level spell on you fools. And it one shot and, like half the party. Yeah. And healed himself <laughs> a whole bunch. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You, you we... think you'd think maybe we should leave. It's almost mm. like we'd be given a third opportunity to exit this call. Oh. Wait, a third we're not opportunity for hot reasons. Yes, a third, third. Honestly, let's just throw our foreheads into this full force. 
the funny part about it, though, is that Hiroki could potentially keep himself, like, conscious for quite a while be- between the Kopesh and Second Wind. I don't think he can outfight this, son. He couldn't outfight it, but he can keep himself conscious. <laughs> he drain tank for, like, seven rounds. I mean, you are betting on critting every single round. I like these odds. I mean, I, I have a bunch of attacks that I can make. I mean, yeah, but you are it's also like betting. Double advantage. Okay. So, let's say you're making what? That's three attacks every round, or is it four? I'm back. If I do make a crit, it's three attacks. It's just two attacks every one, every round. So, two attacks every round. And you roll three dice per attack. So you have six rolls, and only one of them needs to hit the 5% chance to crit. So, let's see. Only one, see? Yeah. Um. TPK. TPK. That... <laughs> Mm. That that's. I you mean, see, I didn't want to fight it, but also there wasn't anything that I was gonna say that was gonna do much besides. Yeah, I don't think this is can. not a fight that I considered winnable for you guys. So, so we leave. Get stronger and come back and kill him when we're stronger. <laughs> Assuming there'll be a country left to save. Wait, wait, we wait, 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 wait. If we leave, we can get our own rocky, like, uh, training montage. I mean, <laughs> rocky training montage in real time, I guess, yeah? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, we actually just bend reality to our will, end up, like, ten times stronger. Because of Look, rocky okay. training montage, and then we win. Okay, but if we had that power, don't you think we could bend reality now? <laughs> well, no, because we haven't done the training montage yet. But how are we supposed to bend reality for the training montage? Well, because we have to have an incite- inciting incident. So the inciting incident is that we get our asses kicked, and then we just realize training montage time. Hmm. Mm. So you, you can't tell me I'm wrong because I uh, I'm obstinate and will refuse to accept anything else. Are the three conscious people going to drag the three unconscious hey, Skyler, people? What is out? the name of the period in Egypt where it was only raw? The shit one. <laughs> <laughs> the shit one. Yes. Skylar, what is the name of the period? There was a period. It was just um, the rule. The rule of Akintet or whatever the fuck. Right? Uh, Akhenaten. Akhenaten, yeah. I think. Okay. Um, yeah. It was literally just the one guy, and then they immediately attempted to erase him from history. Yep. Mm-hmm. And did a pretty fucking good job at it. <laughs> like, we know very little about him other than he fucked with the entire religion and immediately got erased from history. Mm. Wow. Well. So I don't know about decision? the rest of you. I don't know decision? about the rest of Okay, look. I don't know about the rest of you, but at least two of us are cursed to walk the earth with turtles. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently not. So, not sure what that means. Yeah, I mean, I will uh I want my rocky training montage, so I'm fine. With it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <sighs> Another of us has the prophecy awaken the light within. If that means uh, immolate, I guess this is the path we go. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um. Okay, so can someone like give me actually like a brief rundown of events leading up to this fight? I know we've been given three chances now to, like, leave the combat, well, but... Uh, um, it's not leave. We haven't been given three chances. We walked been... the barrier. Nothing came close to us. We go mm-hmm. give the rocks to the people. They're like, okay, 
get a um, go distract them for an hour while we prep for this ritual. Uh-huh. Um, they prep for the ritual while we talk about please do not destroy everything. This is not a good plan, but apparently it is a good plan. But in on our side, it's not a good plan. Um, mm-hmm. And then we fight because the clips thing started. Mm. That's pretty much the entire rundown of the session so far. Okay. Wow. Um. And how long has this combat been going on for? Is this like the this second is... round or like? Wait, it is the this second is the round. round. The second round. The second turn. Yeah, basically, before we started in the fight, he said, "Leave, surrender, or die." Then, in the first round of the fight, he said, "He said the same thing," and now he's telling us to leave for the third. Okay. I mean, that's pretty chill of him. <laughs> Three strikes. Nine. Nine. Me if we uh. Well, out. technically so, it was two strikes and then a sun strike, and now this is the fourth strike, I guess? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, three strikes and a flame strike. <laughs> yeah. Well, but it was two strikes, then a flame strike. Two and strikes and a flame strike. strike. Yeah, yeah. And this is potentially third strike. Yeah, th- now it's time. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally. Okay, well, you know what? Sometimes... Sometimes you just gotta die in a um, pillar of fire, I guess. Um, Emma and yeah. Zoe, what are your opinions on this? See, Hiroki in character would not let this man carry out his plan. Okay. Zoe, do you have any opinion about this whatsoever? Um, I mean, I would rather not be TPK'd on my second session, but, you know. From an in-character perspective. Uh, she has been dead for the last, like, however long, so she's just like, I'm just going along with whatever the fuck these guys are doing, because I have no idea what the state of the world is. Okay. How high on your uh, table of priorities is self-preservation? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty high. Just because I don't know what happens if I die again. Okay. Even. But also, so, if I die in the name of my god, then that's probably okay. Uh, what is your god, by the way? Name is, like, Lou... Like yeah, uh, sun god, forge god. I know. I mean, you're, I know you're a forge cleric, but like, what kind of god? He is an Irish god. He's he's a god of crafts and, and like uh, protection. Yeah. Um, so you can look him up on. Yeah. Okay. So would the tenet of protection be like prevent this guy from nuking his own country? Or would it be like protect the party? Honestly, Wait, so, you know, um, so his his whole his whole deal is he says that a calamity is coming. He he is an oracle. He is given the gift of sight, and mm-hmm. he says a calamity is coming, like the times of old. And to prevent mm-hmm. that, we need we need the light. We need the light of Ka. We need we need an aspect of the sun, and he plans on becoming the aspect of the sun. By first making Ka the only god, so Ka will be the strongest god. Mm-hmm. And then, in, in like, in, in uh, as Lucia, and then conquering the rest of the lands. Hmm. Him, we should have our, like, cleric become that dude instead. And then we have all the po- power. Okay. Well, that's, that is a, that is a uh, perspective to take. Um... Hmm. Zoe, make a call on like what your character wants to do. Okay, uh... honestly, I think this sort of transcends what characters want to do. David has expressly told us that we should not, I and I think it it's, might... it's less a matter of 
what our characters just, want to yeah. do and whether or not we want to like continue playing this. D&D. You guys could technically beat him if Hiroki's really lucky. That's a. <laughs> that's a you would don't tell me the odds. That's a that's a five percent. Okay, okay. Consider this: he is a high level. He is, however, a character. I made him like a character. I gave him dope magic items, because like you know he's the sun speaker, and that makes sense mm-hmm. for you know him to have like relics. But he is still a player character. He does not have legendary actions. He does not have legendary resistances. Um, you also said you consider this this fight unwinnable for our party. Yes, because you know what? You know who does the ma- major damage? Adric. And Eclipse is broken, but guess what most of the Adric's damage is? Fire damage. Which heals our friend. Yeah, which heals the Sun Speaker. I suppose you could use Corpse Explosion on him, but whose corpse <laughs> are you going to explode? <laughs> oh Didn't my they... goodness. I mean, yeah, that is an option, actually. Corpse Explosion. <laughs> Completely out of character. I, I say we should... Uh, we should take our losses, get the fuck out of here, lick our wounds, get stronger, and come back. Rocky training play. montage! Okay, but out of character, we also know a way to come back to life, so... Oh, that's right! <laughs> we... It's that time to murder is... ourselves because I want to gamble. <laughs> uh, I think I think in character, Hiroki would probably actually back off for the sake of not killing his friends, too. Okay. The, the realistic option is to not for ourselves, but hey. <laughs> okay. So, in character reasoning, we're probably cool with running away. But he would also leave with if you go through with your plan, you Out would become character. no better than the g- darkness. All right. <laughs> so, do you have your answer? We should. Uh, we just. Yeah, out of character, everyone is kind of, like, looking to run, so. Atali can just be like, fuck this I, mean, I, can't, I can't be the one making this decision because I'm not unconscious. Well, I mean, yes, but, like, out of character, we can come to a consensus because this yeah, no, is kind this of is, a TV This is an out of character it. decision for you guys. Out, out of character, it seems like we, we run. Run. Like, it works. We will do that. All right. Everyone go with running away. Yep. Yep. He will... On my turn, I cast the magic thingy to make everyone not dead anymore. The sun speaker will actually do that. You guys aren't an initiative anymore. He'll reach it down and he'll heal, you know, you people who fucking got blasted. <laughs> and he says, and he says, I grant you clemency. I forgive you for your transgressions. Do not stand against me again. Clement, your sins. <laughs> yes, damn. And, yes, he, and like, you guys, you guys turn to leave, and the Arch Paladin turns with you. And then he says, Arch Paladin, you must stay. The rest of you speakers also must stay. Well, you're telling me, like, the rest of the speakers were there too? <laughs> Uh, he DM hand the hand waved them away. Hmm. Yeah, because yeah, I didn't want to have to like actually do. Character. Yeah, I don't, I don't have stats for all the speakers. I only have stats for Sun Speaker, the Arch Paladin, and the Star Speaker. Hmm. Which the Star Speaker is away. Yes, he's not here. He is currently curious why the Ritual of Eclipse fucking failed. So. Hmm. Well, it's kind of rude to leave a bro hanging like that. I mean, if they're, if they're if he's gonna murder all of the other speakers, I'm staying because my speakers. Yeah, have... like That's... Hiroki would not let that fly. He's not executing Even... them. If that's what you're asking, he's not executing them. And you guys watch. What are you? Okay, okay. Yeah, but in on. character, Wait, why not? Think that's what's gonna happen. Bro, why not? Real quick, hold on. From like. He's not executing them right now, I should say. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, just like, hey, General, we're just leaving the Arch Paladin right next to the guy, thinking, man, 
this uh religious fanatic who is doing like a it's, it's not really a like revolution or a coup because he is the government but like okay he has become the senate right yes <laughs> You really think he's gonna, uh... Like, like... Ten generally, zealots don't let uh, heretics live. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused about that. To quell your curiosity... He is going... I yeah, don't know, he has decided. He could no. either A, execute them as a show of power... Um, more, B, I'm wondering why he doesn't just execute us. Because oh, he's, he's Clement letting you, he's letting you <laughs> all go to he, Okay, so do you, if you guys want to start with that explanation, he he then like turns towards like and you look across the bridge and like there are people just like staring, watching. And he turns and he turns to the people and says, This is this is the mercy I grant you. These traitors and rebels claim that I am harsh and unfair. I give them a chance. I gave them many chances to leave. I am trying to save us, this country, and this world. And he looks at you and he says, be gone. What? <laughs> <laughs> you had to fucking say it. I have no say in the matter, as I am unconscious. No, you're conscious no, you're, now. You're, you're he healed. Um, Everyone's been... How healed? I give him an old person stink eye and walk away. Hmm. Hey, David. Yes? I'm casting this. Uh, excuse me. Casting what? No. Okay. Ah, I've been okay. Okay. Yes, you are allowed to cast that. What are you going to do now that you're invisible? <laughs> <laughs> Empty his pockets. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Pick yes, pocket the sun speaker! <laughs> Like weird BS that he's saying. I'm going to say something along the line. I'm going to say under my breath something along the lines of like, as long as I live, my God will live too, because he is not the only God, or he will not. Yeah, I mean worship. that like that whole thing right there is the fundamental reason why the Sun Speaker's plan is a uh, garbage. Okay, but also understand that we don't understand the fundamental uh, nature of the existence of gods. Yes, so we must make other gods stronger to combat this god. I mean, this guy is also kind of the leader of this country, or like one of the prime, like... He is the no, strongest he is faction of this country. So... Hmm. Yeah, so are you all leaving or what are you all doing? He lets um, you all walk, I, walk out. Uh, David, you got my message though. Oh, I have not looked at your message. Let us see what it says. I'm concerned. Can all of us be leaving while that's happening? It's Where are simple. you going? Where are you going, villain? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you all, you all can walk away. Hmm. Where are you? Where are you all? Le are you all leaving the city, or like where are you all walking back to, or where are you guys heading? Well, we probably want to wait for the other speakers who we were working. With. So, um, you know, our plan just fucking failed. Well, okay, so the speakers of moon and river are present, while the speaker of stars is not. Yes. And the, um, Arc Paladin is, um, currently standing right in front of the dude. Uh, how long is this bridge again? This bridge is hundreds of feet long. Hmm. 
This wouldn't happen to be the end of the bridge 70 feet away, would it? Nope. Hmm. You guys met in the, in the middle, so the bridge is about 500 feet away. Like the end of the bridge. Ah. Uh, wait, there's just a kilometer long bridge. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a big fucking river. It's a, no, this is a lake. This is a lake. Oh, okay. Uh, and while you're doing that, we're going to cut to villain really quickly. Oh. Concern. Villain, you head back. Villain, you're 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 awesome. Thank you. We we we, we cut back to you where you're at the the camp, and we see you talking to. We see we see the star speaker. He looks at you. He goes. He like he like. You see his nose twitching. He goes. What wrong? What happened? Tell tell. Yes, yes. All dead. All dead. Uh, All dead, but then revived. Yes. Hmm. E- e- even I have failed. Death, death, death. Have failed. Yes. Didn't I? Well, this time should run. Yes, yes. My plan. Looking for Snake Man. Very old. Snake very, man. very old. He like looks. He looks at you quizzically, like Snake Man. Snake Man. What Snake Man? Snake Man. Very old. Has a snake. Don't know. Yes, yes. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Um, here should should take this. I cannot go. Will he will follow me? I stay. I stay hide. But you you take this, and he passes you these 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 fairly large like two halves of a of a ruby, of like a gigantic ruby scarab. And he passes them. Am I, am I able to carry these? <laughs> Yeah, you have a bag of holding. Okay, I, I'm just checking because gigantic makes it sound like it's gigantic. Large. Meaning, meaning the ruby altogether is about a foot and a half in diameter. Gigantic for a ruby, not literally gigantic. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Got it. I mean, a foot and a half is pretty big for villain. He goes, take, keep safe, run. Yes, we'll keep safe store. Yes. And you see, you see the star speaker. Then, like he 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 runs over to where you where you know like an entrance to the Skaven tunnel is, and he uh, he just ju- he jumps into the Skaven tunnels. Well, he's dead. <laughs> so, uh, the villain just run towards the outskirts of the city, and then we can cut back to them. Yeah. So we cut back to the other group. Yeah. So. What is your? Do you have a plan, Justin? Also, I villain don't. is not there, obviously. Yeah, villain is not there. Not, not particularly. Um, hmm. This is uh, kind of unfortunate. Also, uh, hmm. oh, villain. He also hands you, in addition to the, the gigantic ruby scarab, he hands you the seven diamonds of midnight. So, real quick, uh, when he went through with, like, Flame Strike, he did all the, like, usual shit, right? Verbal, somatic, um, material components for the spell? He probably casted it through, uh, his spear, maybe? Depending on if the spear is able to... I just need to know if he had to speak to cast his spell. He did need to speak to cast his spell. Silence, hmm. the best spell ever. He wasn't silenced, though. No, no, I know, I know. But, like, also, he is still grappled. <laughs> is he? Yeah. Technically, yeah. Uh, I would consider no, because Sun's Flame Strike would have burned the ropes away. Okay. Like, that, that's fair, though, right? Yeah, uh, all right. 82 fire damage tends to burn rope. Does it, though? Maybe just a little bit. Along okay. with my ass. Well, either... Along with my body. <laughs> if we were looking to contest the speakers... I do the way have to do silence. It. Damn, Justin, you had we're also the fight. we're also assuming that they don't have another way to do that, 
or like just different spells that will also murder. I mean, yeah, it is just like also something to keep in mind. I still want my rocky. I, I want my training montage. If you want your training montage, head to Ilumkar. <laughs> I want my training montage. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you guys ever get the feeling that you just want to travel to Il Ilumkar <laughs> right now? Yeah. <laughs> See the world, they said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, what do you all? What do you all do? So, you all? Do you all leave the city? Or where are you all headed? I don't think we have much of a choice but to leave. Hey, I mean, you guys, you can do some things before you leave the city. Villain did some things. Yeah, you all can yeah. do some stuff, like, within reason before you, uh... Yeah. I yeah. mean... There's What's not the too the much within world? reason, is there? However long you've been dead. By the way, did he fall heal us or just barely revive us? You, uh, I'll say half health. Round down, right? Yeah, round down. Hmm. So, like, there's been, like, a full scale, like, basically the city's in, been in, like, rebellion, basically, right? Something yeah. like that. Yeah, and you, so, you, all, you, all, you, all, you all watch as uh, the people who were, like, rebelling, most of them are, they're all either, like, like, uh, they're all either, like, they're all either, like, walking towards one of the temples, like the Sun Temple, or they're, they're gathering their things and getting ready to, like, they're packing up and leaving the city. Yeah, um, I still think we should make, like, a tree and run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. right. Make, like, a tree and root. I mean, are you... So, where is the speaker of the river? The speaker of the moon? Being pussies. And, but where are they being pussies? They are currently on the bridge speaking with the Sun Speaker, along with the Arch Paladin. They have. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna assume no shops are really open at this point. <laughs> nope. God. <laughs> you think I any think shop would be willing to cater to you, anyways? <laughs> Rebel and foreign sun cleric. <laughs> I think we should get out of the city. Yeah. All right. So it is evening by the time you all make the necessary preparations to leave the city. And it is it is it is the sun as the sun begins to set. You all leave. You all leave the city of Azalus. It's gold and black walls standing behind you. It is night. You are now in the desert. Eventually, the river speaker, the moon speaker, and the arch paladin come find you. They give you thanks for what you've done, and they say, maybe one day we'll meet again. And they all head their separate ways. Each of them bringing a following of their followers with them. The Star Speaker, you guys don't know where he is, or at least only one of you does. Oh, uh, also, the group doesn't and, know know, where villain is. Yeah, and one of your members is missing. Do you all? It is. It is getting dark outside. You all find a small grove of trees. That rise a uh, rise a rise out from the desert sands. What do you all decide to do? Do you press on through the night, or do you decide to rest? We should definitely rest. Before resting, uh, can I ritual cast sending and 
give a short description of where we had developed favorites? Yes, you can. Villain, you receive this message, this this identification of where they are. Do you head to it? It never changes. Training montages. Uh, <laughs> uh so. That's. Uh, may I do a little bit of storytelling? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, a very small amount. Yeah. So, so when we look back at villain, he he basically has made it quite a decent way uh, via the uh, side side of the river, the banks of the river, and at night uh, he's just praying to see what God will talk to him. As he's praying, he sees a light come down, a small. Seemingly almost in almost insignificant light. You know Navi Navi from uh Hey Legend of Zelda? Hey 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 you Hey Hey yeah. listen Yeah it's it's like that except not the wings <laughs> just like the small the small glowing light. It doesn't say anything, but it, it begins to spiral around you. Net tries to bite at it, but Net misses. What do you do? I try to grab hold of it. It, it spirals out of your reach. Uh, it, takes out of of like, it, it goes to, raises to your eye level and kind of spins around a little bit. The villain keeps on like trying to chase it a little bit. I need a pickle. I'll be right back. You hear in a very, in a child, in like a very childish, childlike voice, you hear, not alone, together, friends, later, and then it, uh, it, it uh, spiral rockets back up into the sky. And it is at so, this time that you hear Adric's message. Um, and then... And, uh, with that, he starts heading back, but he, he doesn't want to quite rejoin the group yet. But it's alright, because they're better than the small ones. So, um, uh, where is Villain heading? Is Villain not going to head back to the group yet? No, nah, he's heading back to the group, but he'll keep a distance. Okay. Yeah. So, who is on watch tonight? I'm or are you all not keeping a watch? Um, I plan on being on watch for sure. Sorry. Watch rotation. Very good. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, put in the chat uh, watch order. Who's taking first, second, third watch? Just see one of them get a crit, and then they see me. That'd be the big stuff. I'll take first. What would qualify? What is the greatest qualifying factor besides sand? Sand is absolutely the number one. Besides, okay, if we're ignoring sand, which got yeah, but However, thing. in this hypothetical scenario, okay. what would be it other than this? If we're discounting. If we're discounting. Is anyone else going to keep watch at some point? I suppose not then. Uh, also, Anipe is busy talking to Andy about something. I bet you it's anime. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty gay. <laughs> you can't answer, so that means you can't be. I just roll my perception, I guess. Yep. Is anyone else going to keep uh, Yo, watch? nice. This guy yeah, says, I saw he nothing. Would have been good king. He would have been a good Actually, king. I probably passed out. <laughs> yeah, you passed out. <laughs> hmm? Big sad. What? Is anyone else keeping watch? I need to know this now. Yes. Yes. All right, you're taking second watch then. Roll, roll perception. You roll perception. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe already took second watch. Okay, then you're on third watch. Perception. Right, this guy tried to write a tree. Right, tried to write short tree. All right, Zoe, roll perception check as well. Do something with his country. First of all, he spells the co his country of origin wrong. Second of all, I tell him like, "Hey, Ian, maybe you want to read over this, you know?" What is your uh, passive perceptions, by the way? Thirteen. You see mine? Yeah. It should be like eleven, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think anyone's passive perception is high enough. So, 
Mine's 13. But... All right. In the night, you all, uh, uh, after your rest, you all wake up. You all take some damage. Mm-hmm. Everyone takes three damage. Adric, you're going to take a little bit more. Does villain take three damage? Yes. Yep. Adric, okay. you, take, you take seven additional damage. What kind of damage is it? Uh, piercing. I came back from getting a pickle and saw you taking damage. What the fuck did you guys do? We're all taking damage. Yeah, Thank you very much. I, from what? And why? What did you do? <laughs> you all take we existed. Damage. That's yeah. what. You you all take uh, the three damage. I take an additional seven because I. Uh, wait wait wait! Uh, an additional. I had zero. No, we we got. Well, it was a long rest, right? Yeah. So you all are at full health. Subtract three, except for Adric, who subtracts ten. Do I subtract three? Yes. Even though it's physical damage. Yes. So it's magical? Question mark. Oh wait, no. Yeah, you you could reduce this, Justin. You could reduce this. Nice. Okay. Um. What the fuck is happening? You don't Damage. know. I you all not. wake up feeling pain in your chest or stomach. Does it have anything to do with um third degree burns? <laughs> no. A pain in the stomach. I wonder if it's something that we encounter. I mean, there's a reason that Emma thought to make a medicine check. Can we make another one? Yes, you may. And this time, Skylar, investigation will also be applicable, should you decide to make that. I'm going to do both. I don't know what you buggers are worrying about. Perception is also potentially useful. He is, um... I think investigation's highest for me. <laughs> we just got two nat ones in a row. I got a seven on my medicine. Once. As you're examining yourself, Zoe, you see small a small hole in your in like your abdomen. Hmm. Unfortunate. Almost like something dug its way out of your body. Hey, the slivers are now out. Oh, uh, D- David, I, I didn't sleep though. You didn't sleep. No. Take a rank. Take a rank of exhaustion. And uh, Nick, you'll you'll you will have just seen yours uh, like, I guess, jump out of your chest. Nice. Wait a minute! Uh, no, you're immune. You're scaven. You're immune to diseases. Never mind, Nick. You don't take the damage. Okay. Wait. So each and every one of us had this. Yes. Except I had it a bit worse. Interesting. I am somewhat curious where I picked it up. Because I was never hit by them at all. You guys remember that uh, explosion of of biomass when you guys opened the chests? Yeah. Everyone Uh, got infected by one with that. mm. Except for the people. Wait, everyone? Yes. There were only four... No, everyone opened one. Yeah, I know, but only four of them had, like, the biomass. No, they they all had the biomass, but uh, only some of them were trapped. Yes. Oh. Okay. It was touching the biomass. Ah. Because those Lovely. were egg sacs. And then Adric had a couple more because Adric uh, got you whacked a little took bit. Note. Yeah, you took note for, for me. Yeah, so, yes. Villain, you, you see a little a little worm jump into the sands from your body. Oh, can I not eat it? Would you like to try and catch it and eat it? Make, make, yes. roll, roll dexterity? <laughs> I see, I munch. I mean, honestly, I just thought it was a bug or something, so... I try to eat it. You're no, you're not fast enough. Hey, sir. I I missed a midnight meal. Midnight snack. And did any of the others of us notice them? No, no, none of you noticed. Really? Not at all. Okay, look at your guys' perception checks. 
rolled a 21. What was mine? I rolled wait, a 17. Wait, Zoe, wait, wait, what, you, rolled, you rolled an 8, Zoe. My first one was a 21. Wait, then why'd you roll a second one? Because don't you do it for two hours? No, you only roll one. Roll one for your watch. First one is 21. Okay, then Zoe sees it. Zoe sees 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 it pop out of Adric's chest, I guess. That's a big weird. Also, can I kill it? Make me a dexterity check to or and it's Well, okay. How would you you see them poking out of Adric's chest? Are you going to whack Adric? <laughs> or, yeah, I say yes. Or like try I, and catch I, them. I know I'm not there, but I think you should whack Adric. Hmm. <laughs> You should definitely hit Adrian. Can I cast it at it? Just like, yeet spell at it? What like, spell would you it? like to cast at Adric? Oh, I like this. I see this, right? Conjure bonfire. <laughs> Fireball. Can I not target it? Because I can see it? It's a part of Adric right now. It's still considered a parasite. A part of Adric. Make a decision quickly or it's going to jump into the sands. Well, like, just cast as soon as it jumps out. Alright, then... Is that okay, yeah. It's going to be harder to hit, though, so uh, what are you casting? Um, I'm going to cast... Um, let's do... Huh? Sacred flame. All right, yeah. So it makes a dexterity saving throw. It's going to make you with advantage. I have done bong the dong, but um. What is your what is your spell save DC? Sixteen. All right. So you burn one. However, the other two uh, leap into the sands. I'm going to uh, tell everybody about that as they wake up from the watch. Yeah. Like, it's weird. Actually, um, what spells do I have cast? All right, do I? Would let the restoration remove one that is in me? Something. Let's take a look. Lester restoration. Can you? Yes, it would. Fancy. I'm gonna cast that a few times. Are you? How many times can you cast it? I have four available spell slots. All right. So you cast it on yourself. Who else? Spell slots, actually. Big lol. How many? I cast it on It's upcasted on a few people because why not? Okay. So. It's uh so the one two from Adric, one from Villain, and then I think everyone else is covered, right? Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Cool. There's only two out there instead of like. No, there a lot. are three. There are three. Ah, yes, there are three out there instead of like a lot, which is not very good because we'll just multiply anyway. Yeah. I will tell people this when we wake up. So yes, it is now morning. <laughs> you all wake up to the rising sun. I would be like, so, something happened last night. Okay, uh, baby slivers in us, and a couple of them ran off. Well, that's just not great at all. Uh, maybe that's why they let us go. Like most of you, um, yeah, you should be good. Well, we're fucked. And when I say we, I mean like the world, people, just people. Yeah, I want to leave. Like, like leave. So we don't have to deal with it. 
So wait, you cast you didn't cast Greater Restoration to remove parasites or I what? Cast Restoration on um, everyone after I saw the initial three of which I killed one. Hmm. So there are two that got out. Three. Yes. Three. Because we're, we're villain, because villain was not was not near you guys. Yes, but we have no idea what happened on his end. So. Yeah. Yeah. We are aware that two got out, and by the time I would have woken anybody up or done, been able to do anything about it, they were already long gone, so... Yeah. Mm. Lovely. Mm. Well, well, nothing could go wrong now, I guess. FF15, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Next game. See, I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, but you couldn't say anything because it would have been very, very meta. I don't know. I mean, if one of my the, character, if one of you did, had remembered, I would have let. I would have let you guys. I wouldn't have minded, you know. But no one said remembered that. what? So super meta. Remembered what? You know that uh, Adric got hit, and all of you touched biomass. Okay, I wasn't around to remember, but all right. That's fair. So, like, but that's your fault, no Justin. The effects I mean, of the biomass I mean, would be incredibly meta. With something, so. Well, I mean, the real question is: Would we have be uh, decontaminated after leaving an area of plague? No, not really. Really. I mean, there was a war going on right outside. Yeah, there was a war and also a holy barrier. Wait, wouldn't the holy barrier have stopped any life forms that weren't us on the way out? It was a parasite. It was it was basically you. It was a yeah. part of you. It's well, a parasite considered a considered a disease. Mm. For the mechanics of this game, I it's it was considered a disease. Which is why Lesser Restoration cures it. You know? I mean... I guess. Alright, so what do you all do now? You all have the world to travel and go to. Banished from Ilum or from Azalusia. Um, so, real quick... Uh, I probably won't be staying up too much longer. We're I'm wrapping just up right now. I just I just want a heading of where you guys are going so I know what's going on. Oh, okay, okay. I, uh, I just wanted to make sure that this was kind of jumping off point. Um, I need to know what to prepare, Skylar. Why don't we go to Alumkar? That Sorry. sounds fun. For a Rocky and, training montage? Yes, I want my Rocky training montage. Fuck you. Okay, but how will we get there is an important... We could go to the Southern Step because I really want... I like that. Um, and through the grass sea, that would probably be the easiest way. And we'd also pass the uh, the Tears of Merit, which are uh, interesting. So basically, your plan is to follow the river, cross through follow that the to the mount, up. cross through the mountains to the to the step, cross yeah. through the grass sea, and step. then get to Uh We probably can't go through the grass sea. We'd probably have to go up and around. Uh, why not? Because it's the grass sea for a reason. It's made out of grass. It's endless plains of grass. Abs my biceps. With a surprisingly diverse... Uh, okay. I'm gonna grab my things. Or and fauna, despite it just being the grass sea. Wait, am I wrong in assuming the grass sea is just a giant, like, plain area? It is. Yeah. Except the grass is just, like... Four feet tall, oh, and uh, the wildlife has adapted as such. I see. Okay, just think about it like this: you're walking through Oklahoma, <laughs> except for a very long time. Yeah, except <laughs> Oklahoma doesn't have ambush predators specifically adapted to like incredibly tall grass. There are also uh, barbaric barbaric tribes. So we go to the step, and then we we follow the, the mountain ridge. So yeah, that'd probably be safest. 
All right. I think that's it for me, kiddos. Yep. All right. Um, I love oh, you all. You all level up. Good night. Oh, yes. Ooh, I level up. Well, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna. Yeah. Go, I'm not gonna just fuck you all that hard and not level you guys up. <laughs> <laughs> you took us out for dinner. Dish. You gave us the dicking, but at least we didn't have to pay for it. I mean, I'll, it. I'll give you all free levels sometimes. This is one of those times. But yes, free levels. I mean, considering the encounter with the Sun Speaker, this is probably one of yeah, those times where you could level up. Anything, I should give the Sun Speaker experience for defeating you, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are we more five? Six? Level of experience is. Yeah, I was gonna say we're like six experience. All right. I'll catch you guys later. All right. Peace out.